Hello there to all you nail polish lovers. It's Sandy here today, and in this nail tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the nail art designs that were created backstage by Essie and worn by the models at Toronto Women's Fashion Week. I'll show you how you can easily recreate these runway looks at home using all the same products that they did. So let's jump right into it. To begin, always use a base coat to protect your natural nails. Not only will this help protect your nails from staining, but it will also help to adhere the polish you apply over it onto your nails for a long-lasting manicure. The first look reminds me of a cat's eye. It's a simple and trendy way to take a black mani and push it to the next level. Begin by using a black nail polish. Paint one coat over your nail and cap the tip. Next, you're going to need a metallic gold polish and a striping brush. Dip the striping brush into the nail polish and then create a thin gold line vertically down the nail. Then go back in and swipe the line out on each side to make it wider in the middle like a cat's eye. Take your time while you do this and keep both hands rested on the table. All done! The next nail look has a smoky purple base and the chrome dots remind me of silver studs. To recreate this look, start off with the purple base. Use two coats to make sure that your color is perfectly opaque. Then dip a medium-sized dotting tool into a metallic silver polish and add two rows of dots vertically down the nail. Make sure to line up the dots for a neat and tidy look. Another quick tip to get this look perfect is to clean your dotting tool in between each dot so that the same amount of polish will be on it each time, resulting in similar sized dots. I like to use a makeup sponge for this because it's super quick and easy to do. And there you go! One of my favorite looks was this dark red nail that had a gold line separating the negative space at the cuticle from the red at the tip. To begin, use a dark red nail polish and start painting your nail one-fifth of the way down from the cuticle. Again, use two coats for best opacity. Once that's dry, Use the gold polish and a striping brush to add in a metallic gold line to separate the negative space from the dark red. All done! The next look is an ombre that fades from bright red to dark red. Begin by painting your nail with a red polish. I'm also using a skin barrier around my nail for this design to help with cleanup later. After you've painted one coat of red and allowed it to dry for a couple minutes, paint a stripe of red and dark red onto a porous makeup sponge. Then sponge this onto your nail. Reapply the colors and then go back in for another coat. Then I'm just going to paint a little bit of the dark red to the very tip of the nail to make sure that it's really dark and opaque there. Finish the design by blending it all together using a fast drying top coat. This will smooth out and help to blend the two colors together even more. Then you can go ahead and clean up any of the nail polish from the cuticles and surrounding skin. The final look is super simple and is giving me some high fashion rocker vibes right now. To easily recreate this look, just dip a striping brush into the black nail polish. Then draw two diagonal lines, starting at each side of the cuticle and meeting at the very tip of the nail. Go ahead and redraw these lines to make sure that they're opaque. And that's it! As always, finish off your nail art using a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Toronto Fashion Week inspired video. If you'd like to watch more fun nail tutorials here on Cute Polish, click the info card in the top right corner. Also, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Take care, and I'll see you next time!